went from condos to pops house on calls now bus routes and the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out. you know you talk a lot about you know going through trials and tribulations and you know uh doing time and then figuring out how to stay out you know after growing you know and, and building your life uh into a different direction and everything like that and, and i bring that up because you spoke on it last time, you know, Crip Matt got locked up, you know, saying like he's going to need like when he get out the right people around, him, you know, yeah. to kind of like stay out of it, stay out of getting in trouble, stay out of going to jail. You know, you was actually, you know, giving some some big brother type, you know, advice and everything, you know, but we just see recently he just got locked back up by the feds, you know, yeah. some gun charges. So what are your thoughts on that? You know, and uh, what is if it's a message you can, you know, uh put out there uh, uh what would you put out there when it come down to this situation with crimac uh really just slow down you know what i mean uh gotta just slow down you know uh it is unfortunate you know with the tats and all that stuff the lifestyle that, you, that you're choosing to live is it's, it's a cold lifestyle you know what i mean uh yeah. uh with hoods whacked out on you that make it you know you gotta you, you know you gotta be that you gotta be that nigga. you know what i mean at 24 7 you know what I mean? So, uh, uh, you gotta, it's, it's a tough situation. You know what I mean? Uh, when you, when, when you dislike a, 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 when you publicly dislike a section, you know what I mean? You got it publicly on your face. That's, uh, that's, a, um, that's just a hard battle right there alone. Yeah. You know what I mean? For, people just see stuff whacked out and stuff like that so you choosing like okay th for the rest of my life that's what I'm gonna, I'm that's what I'm gonna be with you know yeah. what I mean uh so it's just gonna take growth you know what I mean so now you back in there it's more fades more shit you know what I mean that you done built up but uh, I guess going to the feds it may be a little different you know as far as taking fades and shit like that but uh that's the lifestyle you know uh uh, I was just like I said, I read reading over my book, and I look at all the altercations. You know, luckily my stepdad w was a lawyer. You know, what I mean, I yeah. beat a lot of cases, even if I just had some insight where I could talk to him, say, "Hey, man, what about this?" He said, "Oh, man, you got to do this." Even if he didn't show up, at least I had I could work on trying to beat the case or whatever it may be. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, like I tell people, sometimes it takes people three, four, five times to prison. You know, I just got off uh, probation at, at 50. I was at 49. Wow. I just got off probation. You know what I mean? So yeah. uh, just, you know, I, uh, yeah, been home a couple years. You know what I mean? Just off on this probation shit. So, yeah, uh, yeah sometimes it takes. You know, I, I may have been to prison eight, nine times. I'm not sure how many times I've been back to prison. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh it was like I couldn't stay out, I couldn't stay out. Then the more you start doing the right thing though, the more I'm staying out. Now I got more out time. You know what I mean? Yeah. You so used to going back. So it's just like I used to, every time I went back, like man, I'm going back home because that was jail. Like, I can do jail easy. Yeah, it's yeah. nothing, nigga. You threaten me with jail, jail, that what the fuck, nigga? Psh, as soon as I'm walking through there, nigga, what up, cowboy? Woo? Yeah, nigga yeah. back in man give me some soups nigga <laughs> yeah, whatever you know jail ain't nothing you know what i mean i can do jail i know how to fight so not that's not a problem i can do jail uh <clears throat> doing the streets is harder yeah you know learning wow. how to program out here you know uh i just talk about the program but you know you got the program office you go to prison you got the program office mm -hmm. that's where you go learn your program okay we go your work you go to program so when they say program it's program time niggas out on the yard yeah report yeah. to the program office nigga you fucked up your program <laughs> we about to snatch your program nigga you got to go wow. lock it in yeah you know what i mean so we out here we got to learn how to program mm -hmm. you know so when you go to jail, you have no choice. It's the program. They're gonna wake you up at six in the morning. They're gonna give you your food, lunch. You on the program. Why you think the nigga come out healthy? Cause you on the program. You yeah. hit these streets now. You only eating once or twice a day. You drinking yeah. some beer, doing this. So your program is fucked up. You yeah. know what I mean? So you you wonder why you just been in jail eating soups and some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches every day at this certain time, no? Yeah. And you wonder why you got your weight. You wonder why you working out and you feeling good. But yeah. then when you come home. You smoking, drinking, you eating once or twice a day, eating a candy bar, you ain't, you know what I mean? So your program. Yeah. You know, we gotta learn how to program. So yeah. me, I had to learn how to program on the streets. You, know, you go to jail, you ain't got no choice. Yeah. You gonna program. If you fuck up the program, the police is gonna fuck you up. Now if you if you in there fucking up the program, 
and now I'm on lockdown because you fucking and now I'm gonna program your ass. The yeah. whole dorm gonna program you. So mm. you're gonna you're gonna follow the program. Nobody like when they say ain't nobody above the program, yeah, they gonna they got a spot for your ass. Mm. You feel know I me? Mean? They gonna put you somewhere and, and they gonna they gonna say, Hey, this dude fucking up y'all program. We about to shut these phones off. Mm. What you think that dorm gonna do to your ass? Oh man, it's over. Wow. Yeah, that's for sure. It don't matter wow. who you is, nigga. They're gonna be like, cowboy, you better go sit on your bunk, nigga. <laughs> Before you fuck up this program, nigga. We give a fuck. How many niggas you can knock out, nigga? But uh, we gonna we gonna keep lining them up till till one of us is gonna get your ass, nigga. You feel me? You might get three or four of us, nigga. But you got nigga, nineteen more waiting. You know what I mean? If you fucking Man. with this program, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. So yeah. you don't fuck up the program, and we gotta learn how to program on the streets. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So I mean, and hey, you know, uh, no matter you know what, you know happened in the past or what i've talked about on this podcast man i hate to see anybody get locked up man so you know uh hey shout out to crip mac man hopefully he don't they talking about maybe 15 years or something crazy yeah. like well, that. They, they never, you know hopefully they never, yeah. everybody put those numbers out there you never know uh uh what he got going on but he just freshly yeah. home so if he was on regular uh parole or whatever yeah and, and you caught some new charges or whatever uh he got caught with a, a blower or something that's what they saying yeah uh, probably uh Ain't no telling. Might have been a ghost or some shit. Ain't no telling. That's but what they say. The yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So but either way it goes, it's gonna be uh, uh however it is, it's gonna be let's make a deal and just uh, hopefully uh, hopefully would hopefully he get a good outcome and hopefully uh, he use the time wisely. You know what I mean? Come out with a better mindset. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. He don't seem like he had a bad. He got a good heart. You know what I mean? He seemed like yeah. he got a good heart. You know, yeah. I really can't say I know him personally like that. He got a good heart. Uh, he just young and still making young mistakes right now. So yeah. he, got, uh, he got his... Uh, put on his big boy pants and, and uh, it's time to grow up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like you said, it's about the people you have around you too, yeah. man. It took you me until I was 50, so yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm not the best example, you know what I mean? Yeah, but like yeah. I said, I try to teach these youngsters now, like, look, you better learn now before you just get off probation at 49, 50. Mm. You know what I mean? You 20 right now, yeah, you having fun. I was, I was that same 19, 20, you know, here I am just getting off probation now at 49, 50. Yeah. You know what I mean? So time will fly. You, you saying you 23 right now, nigga, dude, nigga, you'll be 50 before you know it, nigga. You feel me? Still getting off probation if you don't get it right. So, yeah, yeah. like I said, you're gonna get it right though. You know what I mean? So they're gonna keep locking you up, keep locking you up until you finally come home and get it right. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. that runaway slave. You run away, keep catching your ass, yeah, and they're gonna, they gonna break you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna break you. Once they break you, like, shit, I'll be good, boss. <laughs> hey, master, I'm good. <laughs> I'll be good, master. I'm done, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, you gotta just slow it down and, uh, um, yeah, like I said, uh, hopefully get some uh, good uh, representation because it's all about uh, it's all about money, you know what I mean? If he got the right representation, you know what I mean? Maybe they cut him the best deal and yeah, go yeah. from there. <laughs>